my friends, my name is LazyJet and today we're back on my model railway! Now in today's video we're going to have a look at two different types of the same engine and uh, I quite like this engine very well because it's one of my favourite characters from Thomas and Friends. So in a way this is like a comparison video of, uh, of two different models uh, from two different companies but it's basically the same character and we're going to have a look and see which one is the best. So the Locos we're going to have a look today is Henry the Green Engine by Hornby and by Backman. Now before I start comparing these two locos, I just want to say that this is just my opinion. Uh, so if, if I say things that you guys don't agree, I just want to let you guys know that this is just my opinion and my opinion is completely irrelevant. Just This is just how I feel about these models and I'm going to give my 100% uh, honesty what I like and don't like about them. Um, but that's what I'm, gonna, I'm just doing a little uh, video warning, like you know, th 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 this my opinions mean nothing. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm completely irrelevant, really. So anyway, let's start with the boxes. Here we have the Backman Henry, or Buckman, I mean, pronounce it how you want, I mean, I say Backman. And we also have the Hornby Henry. Now, uh, I want to start off with the boxes, obviously, because, um, as you guys are aware, that the Hornby boxes, you can just open the little flap on the side and slide them out like so, and then slide them back in when you're finished with them, so it protects them. But for the Backman boxes, I have to be honest, it's a bit annoying because uh, you're going to have to use like scissors or, or, or something sharp to uh, snip away the top to actually get the engine out and the package will just be thrown away. But if you're clever, what you could do is actually very carefully, you probably get a grown up to help you with this, is if you slide the back with a very sharp knife, you can actually like open this out so it's reusable and you can just very carefully slide your Backman Henry out of its casing, and then when you're finished with it, you put it back and slide it in its casing, well, in, 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 in its box. So this can be reused, but you've got to be very clever and very skilled to, uh, to you know, snip away the back so you can actually slide this in and out easily. So that's the boxes, and that's just my opinion. So in my opinion, I think the Hornby boxes uh, are a lot more practical, um, but, you know, they do have a very similar sort of colour design, don't they? I'll see if I try and zoom out a little bit. There we go. So if you actually see, you've got the same sort of similar coloured blue and you've got like Thomas the Tank Engine on the front there and you've got Thomas the Tank Engine on the front top there. So it's very, 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 quite very similar colour designs, but obviously like, you know, it's the Thomas the Tank Engine colour. So you've got a big Thomas the Tank Engine logo there and you've got like a little Thomas the Tank Engine logo there. So that's, 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 uh, so those are the boxes. Uh, although I've got to get the uh, Hornby Henry out. So let me just slide them out. There we go. Lovely. I do love the uh, the Hornby boxes, I have to say. So I think um, out of the box test, I think, in my opinion, I think the Hornby boxes are a lot better because, I mean, these packages are designed to be chopped up and uh, thrown away in the bin. But if you're clever, you can sort of like make like a little like a little lip. It looks like a weird mouth. Nom, 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 nom. But no, but if you're very clever, you can open this up, slide the train back in its, uh, in its little box. But uh, it won't last forever though. It will suddenly get quite worn over the years or mums, depends, you know, how, you've got to be very delicate with these boxes. Um, well, I'm quite delicate anyway. But there are the, uh, there are the two locos. I'll uh, zoom in for you guys. There we go. So we've got the Backman Henry, and the Hornby Henry looks very nice. Now, already, uh, I can only spot a difference, but I'm not sure the camera will pick up that the uh, the Hornby Henry is a much more lighter green than the Backman Henry. I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up, but, um, but yeah, I can definitely see that the, uh, that the shade of green for the Hornby Henry is a lot more lighter and brighter. Um, I'm not sure if it's the correct color for Henry, but I quite like it. But the uh, obviously the Backman Henry has got the green 
spot on uh, because Henry from Backman is designed to look like Henry from the actual uh, Thomas and Friends TV show. Although the uh, Hornby Thomas and Friends locos are basically based on the locos that they actually are. I mean, I do love the Black Fives in general, but this is a really nice model of Henry like in a Black Five uh, shape and form. So that's really nice. So anyway, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on uh, to um, like you know the, the the close up and the detail stuff. So let's let's get them out of their actual uh, plastic casing and uh, see what they look like in close up. Right, so now we have the Backman Henry and the Hornby Henry on the tracks. Now again, I'm not sure you can pick this up on camera, but you can tell that the uh, Backman Henry is a much more darker shade of green compared to the Hornby one. The Hornby one is definitely a lot more lighter. Um, but there is a feature that both these engines have, which I'm actually quite amazed, because bear in mind these are from two totally different companies, is that they're both, obviously, Loco driven. Now for some weird reason, the Hornby, uh, Gordon, Edward and James are tender driven, which means the motor is in the tender, but Henry's motor is in the Loco itself, which, you know, it's a bit weird. But anyway, I'll uh, start with uh, the Backman Henry. So we'll pop Henry just down there. So we'll start with the Backman Henry in close up. So see what that looks like. Uh, wait for the camera to hopefully focus in. Let me see if we try and uh, fix the focus. Just bear with me, my friends. There we go. So there is Henry, well, the Backman Henry anyway. And, uh, ooh, it's going out, very out of focus. This camera is very badly behaved. There we have uh, Henry in close up, um, although, Oh, this, this 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 lens is very rubbish. I do apologise, but there is Henry uh, in close up. Looks very nice indeed. The green looks perfect. The only thing I don't like about this model is I have to be honest, is that you can actually see like a line on top of the boiler where they like put it all together. Like I mean, it's not very noticeable, but like you know, like if you look at a close up, it is a little bit noticeable. But um, but I guess you know you can't really see it. Um, but like, you know, it would have been nice if it, if it was rather like, you know, somewhere else or, or maybe not there at all if they just made it into one solid piece, but never mind. Uh, but I guess that's like the only issue I have with this, although I do have one more I do have to say, is that the lack of detail in the cab, I mean, it's, it's a lot better than it was before because the older Backman uh, Henry, uh, the cab was actually green, but uh, Backman have updated their Thomas and Friends models and they've painted the cab black, which is, which is, which is amazing, which, which, you know, it's, it's a, it is a noticeable difference, but it would have been nice to have a little bit detail in there but apart from that it's all good it's still a nice model it's got a coupling at the front so this thing can pull trains backwards rather than just forwards and then we'll show you uh, the uh, the tender so now the tender is actually quite light and it's um, has got very got much weight in it at all but it it, it does feel like nice but you know it's um, it's just a little bit on the lighter side but it's the detail on it is fantastic like you've got the coal on the, on the on the top and you've got the buffers and the coupling on the back which looks Absolutely amazing. That just looks so nice. I mean, I, I love everything about Henry general in, in I just love everything about Henry I mean Henry's one of my favorite characters in the Thomas and Friends series. So that's its tender now If we go to the Hornby Henry, so I'll just pick him up like so and here he is in close-up now Obviously, there's a massive difference in in detail like uh, like for example You've got the uh, the handrails here and uh, like you just got like like if I show you in close-up You just got like all bit different bits of detail on the side of the boiler and we show them the face. Now the face for the Hornby Henry I absolutely adore. It's just a lovely little happy little character isn't he? Look, look at Henry. Or when I say little he's actually one of the biggest and strongest trains on the island of Sodor. Although some of you might think the green is a bit too bright, but I absolutely love the bright green. Um, again, uh, the problem I've got is if you actually look on the top you can actually see the line where the where the engine is actually put together. But I do love the uh, the red stripes on the, uh, especially on the uh, on the firebox, that looks so cool. And if we have a look in the cab, uh, it's got a bit of detail, but not by much. But you can notice, no, noticeably, noticeably, no, what's the word? Um, the, the cab is very noticeable. That's that's what I was supposed to say. I do apologise. But oh, there we go. You can actually see it better in this angle. Um, so yeah, it's got a little bit of cab detail, which is very nice. Um, I was thinking of maybe putting a firebox. LED firelight inside, so it's got like a flickery fire um, light. So I thought I thought I would try and do that, but then like you know I don't want to ruin these models because like they are quite expensive now because obviously Hornby don't make these anymore. And we'll show you uh, the tender as well in close up. Here it is now. 
I have to be honest, uh, I did a bit, ha had a bit of trouble with this tender at first because um, the wheels are actually plastic and it's got like this metal like circle ring uh, attached to the plastic, but they kept coming off. So I had to like s very carefully add a bit of glue like in between the plastic and the metal to stop them from like, you know, wiggling and coming off. So that was a bit annoying, but I've solved that problem. I just wish that wasn't a problem to begin with. Um, but apart from that, it looks nice. The number three looks absolutely amazing. That if it will focus, there we go. And it's got like a little bit of detail here. They've got a bit of handrails on the tender, which I think is really nice. And the tender's got like a bit of detail as well. I mean, if I had to compare tenders, you can actually see that obviously the, um, although I spin around this way, Obviously, the uh, the Hornby Henry tender is a lot more bigger and it's got a more, lot more detail. Um, but obviously, like this is based off the actual Black Five, and this is actually based off the television television show from Thomas and Friends. But uh, but nevertheless, two different tenders from two different um, reasons. One is to make it more like the engine, and one's to more make it like the actual television show from the series. So that is it's quite cool. I actually really like like that in a in a weird way. I'll do a quick comparison of both Henrys as well. So if I very skillfully, I don't know how I'm going to do this, if I try and hold them up like this, there we go. So you can actually see the two different types of Henrys. Now I have to be honest that the rods on the Backman Henry, which is the bottom one, I don't know why I was shaking this one, uh, the rods on the Backman Henry are a lot more shinier and you can actually see them a lot better. So I actually do like that. Um, but for the rods on the Hornby Henry, they're a lot more darker and, and it's got a little bit of plastic on the side, on the rods, which I don't really like that, to be honest. I don't like the little plastic bit there. Um, so I think overall, I think the rods uh, for the Backman Henry are a lot more better than the rods on the Hornby one. But that's just my opinion. But anyway, uh, let's put these on the track and see what they look like now. Right, so we've got both Henrys on the track. Now already there is a noticeable difference in the faces. Uh, obviously, uh, the size, uh, the Backman Henry's face is a lot more bigger uh, than the Hornby Henry face. But to be honest, I prefer the face from the Hornby Henry because the face looks more like Henry, but the Buckman face, it, it, I mean, it's Henry close enough, but it, it doesn't feel like Henry. It doesn't look like Henry compared to the Hornby face Henry. The Hornby face for Henry looks a lot better. But it's not all bad for the Backman Henry because there's a little cool feature that's hidden behind the Backman Henry sleeve. Have a guess, what do you think that is? If you haven't guessed it, the eyes from the Backman Henry move from side to side when Henry's moving along. It's a very clever feature because there's a little motor uh, just behind Henry's face that moves the eyes from side to side. That is so clever. Now the next test we're about to do is probably something I should have done years ago, but we're gonna do it today. We're gonna have a race to see which Henry is the fastest. So both Henrys are lined up, they look ready to go. Three, two, one, away!
Well, it was obvious who was the fastest. It was obviously the Hornby Henry. Uh, the Backman Henry looked amazing though. I do love the uh, moving eye mechanism. I just think that's so cool. If I had to choose one of these engines, I think I would choose the Hornby Henry. And the reason for that is, it's because the Backman Henry, it feels too delicate. It feels like, like the moment you have it in your hand, you, f you have to be as light to the touch as you possibly can. But for the Hornby Henry, it feels very robust in your hand. It feels like even like, I'm not saying if you, you should, but I'm just saying if you did drop it, it, it would it would work fine. It's, it's very well put together, but the Backman Henry, it just feels too light, too delicate. It, 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 it's just, if I want to pay money for a model, I want something that would last a long time. And I think the Hornby Henry will last longer than the Backman Henry. But that concludes this video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, let me know which model do you prefer. Do you prefer the Backman Henry or the Hornby Henry? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys again next time. I'll see you in the next one. expert at this stuff. Um, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Maybe.